Right inside the new DeBartolo Commons entrance at Boardman Southern Park Mall, there's now an exhibit featuring the history of the DeBartolo family. If you plan to check it out, give yourself some time. The DeBartolo Legacy Exhibit, as it's called, has San Francisco 49ers memorabilia, along with vintage pictures of the DeBartolo building and what was once the Joseph Horn Company at the Southern Park Mall. But among the obligatory items are others you wouldn't expect, like the phone Edward J. DeBartolo Sr. had on his desk. And when you think about, you know, the sheer number of conversations that happened, the deals that were made, the, uh, the, that phone, I just, I look at that and I just, it gives me goosebumps. Mall manager Brian Gabbert today showed me some of the exhibit's more interesting items, like Mr. DeBartolo's Higby's coffee cup with the coffee stains still inside, and the scissors used to cut the ribbon when Southern Park opened in 1970. This was uh, actually our corporate team, uh, our corporate marketing team put this together, and they had a great correct great uh, corroboration from the DeBartolo family and uh, they were able to go through their files and uh, they gave them uh, kind of complete access to what they had, uh, their artifacts and a lot of their memorabilia. There's a Mario Lemieux jersey from when the DeBartolos owned the Pittsburgh Penguins and a picture with Mr. DeBartolo and President Bush with the model of the Stanley Cup. That's Mr. DeBartolo's briefcase made out of football rawhide along with blueprints from some development somewhere. There are also pictures with his kids, Denise and Ed Jr. And one whole wall traces the DeBartolo story from 1909 to the present. It takes you a while to go through it, but uh, it's really worth the time. I know uh, I learned a lot about the family and about the man uh, just by uh, the process that we've gone through in, in putting this all together. I also talked with Denise DeBartolo York today about the exhibit. She said it was, quote, really, really wonderful. It tells the history of our family our businesses, and the Mahoning Valley. They really did, she said, a tremendous job.